Long before Manchester, New Hampshire became the state's largest city, it was home to Native Americans who came here for the fishing. In fact, it wasn't until 1722 it was established by settlers known as Old Harry's Town. You can learn all about this unique history through the many displays at the Millyard Museum. The Millyard Museum is a place to celebrate more than 11,000 years of history here in the area we now know today as Manchester. Uh, in addition to celebrating the native people who first inhabited this area, uh, we have a great uh, presentation through the Amiskeg Manufacturing Company, which at the time was the largest textile manufacturing center in the world. On certain days, the Millyard Museum also plays host to a group of current local residents, a group that carries on a decades-old mission. Although we're global, we act locally. And here in Manchester, our fingerprints are all over the city. They've helped improve the lives of generations of children. If we can enrich kids' lives even just a tiny bit through one of our events or through one of our drives, then we've done our job, you know, and uh, we're going to continue doing our job. You may not know it, but if you look at local parks and local charity groups, they've likely played a role behind the scenes. Unfortunately, I don't think people know about all the great things that Kiwanis has done in the community. We're talking about the Kiwanis Club of Manchester. And in 2021, they are celebrating their 100th birthday. Kiwanis, known for service and volunteerism, actually started with a different purpose way back in 1921. It very much mirrored uh, it, the times. Kiwanis originally started out as a, as a men's networking organization, a businessmen's club. But very quickly, uh, on a national level and locally evolved into a service organization. The club eventually allowed women to join and turn their efforts to helping kids in need all over the city. Webster House is a nonprofit children's group home. We serve roughly 50 to 65 children a year. Webster House takes in kids who have been abused or neglected. It helps them learn about a structured, healthy life. So they're great kids. They come from difficult situations, and we're here to help them get to their next step. It was about 40 years ago. They almost shut down due to financial issues. Kiwanis stepped in and helped save the organization. In fact, donating time and money became a regular practice. They help with their annual contributions. They do monthly meals for the kids, which is wonderful. They do shopping at Christmas time. One, two, three. It's part of a long list of Kiwanis projects over the past 100 years. Did you know they raise money to refurbish several public parks in the city? tennis courts and basketball courts residents use every day. And kids at the local Boys and Girls Club, they too benefit. When you think about an organization like the Boys and Girls Club, it takes so many people in the community to lift us. We don't do it alone. Kiwanis help purchase a bus for the club. They also help supply food too. In fact, club members run regular drives for kids in need. When they're not collecting toiletries at the Manchester Police Athletic League, it might be breakfast foods. We have a cereal drive going on right now, which is going to bring in close to 300 boxes of cereal. We also purchased a mobile dental van, which provides dental services for all of the school kids in Manchester. And for about 30, 40 percent of them, it's the only form of uh, dental uh, treatment they, they receive. While much has changed in 100 years in the city of Manchester, the volunteer spirit of the Manchester Kiwanis has not. I don't think the mission has ever changed. I think the need has been greater than ever. Uh, that's the biggest change. Every day you turn around, whether you donate $5, $100, or $2,000, um, you're helping multiple children in the city of Manchester. Club members come from a variety of backgrounds and ages, and they are always looking for new Kiwanians to help out, much like they have for the past century. 
now Kiwanis at 100, I feel it's really a crossroads for us to be able to get the word out of all the great things that Kiwanis has done and all the great things that Kiwanis continues to do and all the great things that we're going to do in the future.